Hi everyone, Brandon here. Today we are going to go, we are starting the third uh, tutorial for Open Element. We are going to go over all the navigation elements, and I'm going to go over each, well, almost every one of them. The only one I don't know is Breadcrumb. I've not been able to figure this one out yet. Um, it just hasn't been working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I will figure it out, and I will update that at a future time. Alright, first we're going to go with a uh, pop-up menu. Now the first... You know, what we'll do is we'll link it to Cool Picture. And see what I did is... On these, if you want to rename... See, typically, like whenever you select image, you put an image. It's stock name is image. It goes image 1, image 2. But you can rename it so it's easier to find in a list. And you'll see what I mean by the list. So bring pop-up menu and see so a pop-up menu is you have to attach it to an element so right now we're going to attach it to cool picture which is that uh, single line text and what you do is you select hover click click double click or hover and basically is if you hover over single image it's going to bring out this menu or if you click on it it'll bring out the menu you can have it where they have to click on it to bring out the menu or they have to double click or all they have to do is hover um, I leave it with hover or click and then this is would you like to trigger or like the pop up to be triggered by a different element so do you want another element that triggers the same menu at this time we're going to say no and so it brings up three links now if you want to add another link um, for example, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to rename this to Pictures. Now, I don't know if you, uh, I didn't really say it, but I created another page and called it Images. And it's because we're going to, that's with the links, we got to be able to link it to another page. We'll just complete this for now. But I created a page and placed three images on it. Alright, so we're going to come back here, hit pop up menu, and then settings. We're go back into this. We're going to delete these other two. And then when you select pictures and you add a link, it adds a branch off of the pictures itself. So this is going to be picture. Oops. One. We're not going to add the links yet. Oh wait, wait. Then we select pictures again, add a link, and it's going to add a second one to the pictures. You'll see why we're going to create. We're we're making these right now. But I will show you it in just a little bit. It actually, um, this is what the, we are, we're going to point these one, two, and three at anchors. It's an anchor element um, in the same tutorial, so you'll see that in a second. So the pictures, we we'll go to properties, it will go to link. And so we're going to link it to the images page. And see, whenever you're making it inside open element, you don't have to type out HTTP, www dot you know and you don't have to type out the whole web page as to where it's actually going to point on the internet you point it to your individual pages and it automatically sets up the HTML uh, HTTP so we we'll just select images .htm and hit apply and then complete for right now and so if we were to be inside the internet and you go up here to cool picture it brings up pictures and it brings up another menu and this is what a menu is you select it and it takes you to the next page and so that's how you make a pop-up menu inside open element the next is an accordion menu so drag this out set this in and just like inside of the other of the pop-up we could add a link, 
just call it New League. This one, I'm just going to show you real quick. Add a link. This one, we'll add a link. And add another link. Yeah, we're going to leak happy with this one. Alright, and then we'll save that. And see what it does is it brings up this menu. As you select it, it moves it up and down. That's what they mean by an accord is it accordion menu. Yeah, accordion menu. And like I said, you could rename accordion menu. You could rename it to B. You know, um, you could say parts menu or back menu or whatever your uh, I keep seeing parts and vacs because I made a vacuum website so that's where a lot of my webs my brain is right now so I've been working on that but that's how you create an accordion menu named anchor now this one could give took me a second to figure it out but you come in and you drop an anchor I'll drop an anchor there we drop an anchor there and what the anchors are is whenever you select the image that has the anchor you select the link to the anchor the page will appear at that anchor um, and I'll show you so what we do is we place the anchors we hit save we go to here the home page and we go back to the pop-up menu remember I told you we preset those for a reason picture one we're gonna go to properties and see now there's a plus sign next to images in the link configuration so we hit that and then we hit the first anchor and then because that's picture one and picture two we'll do the same thing we'll go into here go to images and hit anchor two apply and then we'll do that with anchor three with picture three apply and complete so now whenever we go into the actual website I still gotta fix this mint this bar hit picture one it appears at picture one let's go back Hit picture two now we're down to picture two it moves the screen and appears it down lower on the web page so that's how the anchor points work. I said breadcrumb, that I don't know. For file download, you just will go over here. And here, what is this one called? It is called image. So that's image, this one's probably image two and image three, okay. I just had to figure that out and you'll see why. File download. What's that first image look like? It looks like this. So we'll select that. And so what we do is we come down here and we'll type download. And what happens is if you select this button, it downloads this picture now. And we can do that with each of these. remember what I was saying that you can actually have this link to the higher definition picture but right now I just optimized all the pictures because this is actually a website I'm going to be publishing I'm just doing this to make the tutorials so we do that there we go now you're able to download each of these images through the internet. So if we were to do preview, we go in, you hit this, look at that, it opens up the page, you check it out in full page mode, that's where you have the high def pictures. So that, come down here, download, wow. I like space images for some reason. But the next thing on the navigation is language flags. Now, right now, I just have English, so if I drag out any, 
language flag. It's just the English, the American flag. But you could have, uh, if you have multi your page in multiple languages, then they can select different languages. If we go in here to style presets, you can see it's got the round and it gives you multiple options of how to horizontal, horizontal right, frame, recess. We could go with around images. So, yeah. Um, but if you have multiple languages, that's where you would go through and you would select which one it goes to. But I don't have multiple languages, I just have one set up on my computer. Text link. Okay, so let's say we're going to go over here and we create a. And what it does is it brings up a link. So we'll hit images and we'll go and type this pictures. And so now if you ever hit this, it automatically sends it over to the pictures. And so you have a few different presets. You can do a metal line. And, you know, there's different presets for just an image link that you can select here. Not a whole lot. But you got a few that would surround the pictures. And then if you select that, it goes to the image page. Button link. Now what this does is it actually creates a button you can push. Let's select again the images. We'll call it pictures. Select that, and then you can actually go green circle, which it didn't quite work. Let's go to properties. Resizing width and height. There we go. I don't know why it selects automatic. It doesn't work right with the buttons. And that's the thing that you guys got to be careful of is if it shrinks down like that, you go over to properties and you can set the resizing to height, width only, automatic, or resize width and height. This is where you rename it again. This is so it's visible. If you don't want people to see it on the internet you can actually make it invisible um, and then that way it's all preset into the page and then whenever you it actually becomes active you can make it visible on the internet and so also it's there for everyone else but you, for you it's been there the whole time just preset for future development um, you know, then you get different, you know, you can have an icon for it, you can ha have an icon and mouse over, so you can have a picture that would pop up if your mouse goes over the top of it, and instead of saying images, it shows a picture. Tool tip, um, haven't messed with this really, I will be honest with you, you could delay in seconds before displaying. Yeah, that's something I haven't messed with. Like I said, there's some really advanced features in this that can do a lot. You can actually adjust the link configuration from here as well. But you can go down the styles. You can see there are a ton of them. There's actually, what, 157 different buttons. So you can go through this whole list, find one. Hey, let's choose a funk menu. Why not? But that's what a button link is. You push the button and it goes to the place that you pushed. If 13 is too small. Hoorah. Mm. That's good. Alright. Also, there's image link. You could actually have an image. Image on mouse over. Image, select the main image so you can have one picture and then you have a whenever you hover over it it changes to a secondary picture so example we'll do this oh no I can't do that it's way too big of an image um, I don't have any small images but that well, here we'll do this we'll select one of the brighter color in the corner 
So in other words, in black, you hover over it and it does a second image. I know, I should have had some ex a better examples set up, I'm sorry about that. But that's what you can do with the image link, an actual picture that sends you to the next link. And you could have an entire image like this as a link too if you wanted. You click this and hit images, hit OK. And so we could go over here, go into the internet, and select the picture, and there we are. So that's also another om option. You don't have to have an image link that's small. You can just do a regular image as a link. And then last but not least is tree view. This is where you can create the uh, you know, basically a tree view just like it is inside of um, here. So it creates a tree view just like this. So I have honestly I haven't even set up a tree view yet. So call it It's automatically collapsed when it's loaded. Save. Just like that. Yay. You got a tree view. So you got multiple. And all of these you can turn into links too. You know, that's where by going into properties, you have the icon, which you can set an image instead of words you can set the link as to where it points to just like that and so that became a link but that's actually all of the different navigation menus that there are let's go ahead and delete this and delete this and delete this because we don't need those um, delete this one too so yeah and on the next tutorial we are actually you know we're going to skip over this the scripts we're going to go into containers um, we're going to come back to scripts let me see I kind of wrote down a I'll see what we can do in the next tutorial, but until then, happy building.